Hello everyone, welcome back. So um, today I'm going to talk about two things, well, subjects so to speak. Um, things that I'm actually answering to you quite a lot and this reminded me, I mean, the reason why I decided to do this video is that because I answer it more than just once um, and there are important things, I thought that okay, it's time to actually put them into a video so more of you can actually uh, benefit from the things that I say sometimes in private in private messages and or in replying to your comments and things like that so um, one of the first thing well one of the two things that I want to talk about is the fact that um, I know there's this I say trend where you have to pick up you have to pick a cause to fight for and for the trees, for the bees, for the whatever. And um, since um, we we still live in well, everyone lives in a different energetic environment, of course, uh, due to their whatever, as I said, internal direction. Uh, but generally, most people live in in a lot of fear, in uh, a lot of things that in in lack still in lack then this is just a, a mind um, a mind conditioning a, an attitude uh, which has to be um, first of all you have to realize that this is just a mind thing it's nothing else has nothing to do with the material realm or what you do what you manifest or what you think and blah blah no it's just a mental <laughs> a mental conditioning and it's put on repeat and because due, I mean due to the loop mechanism that exists here so you can have a continual uh, reality as I like to have the simulation keep going and not like <laughs> fall apart in the next second so yes so the loop is, is doing that as well uh, but in order to bypass that you have to have enough energy to understand that this is just that uh, so um, this fear, the the lack, the whatever, they they translate into all sorts of things like, oh, let's fight for this or that. And I'm not saying that it's not good to pick a, a cause to dedicate yourself to certain things. However, as I said, I, and I said actually, I think two years ago in a in an update um, uh, that. <laughs> It doesn't matter. There are certain things that will disappear either way. It, it can be uh, different, I don't know, species, let's say, from our reality. Species, birds, things, I don't know, fish, whatever. Things that aren't unnecessary, won't be necessary. Um, and there's nothing wrong because they just do not serve a purpose anymore. And there is this craziness that things, oh, we have to save the fish, we have to save the whatever. Uh, and this... Uh, comes from that mindset uh, as I said not, not very long time ago we were still fine here this was a finite system so the energy was not really circulating back to source was just coming from s source being trapped and that was that it was never really this like coming here and then give the feedback and then this normal circulation of things and expansion and stuff like that no it's just a, a closed system that would recycle over and over again until the energy will will be totally consumed and as a result well there are some that will experience that there will be complete implosion but that's really a scenario that i am not interested in and i am not focusing on that because that's not what i am heading so uh the reason why i'm saying that you should not lose yourself in certain things not because it's not good to uh, I don't know, correct certain things and uh, improve certain things in life, but you have to first of all pay attention to what is inside yourself. As in like, where does this thing coming from? Is like, where are you energetically, mentally, uh, how developed you are? And when you don't think you have enough clarity, or you think you have, but well, in result is none of that take take time take time to clean yourself take time to understand that when you shift your perspective it you might have surprise no you will have surprises 
that the thing that you, you thought that it is a problem or you would have to solve it that way, from a higher perspective, it's none of that. Absolutely none of that. And this is going to, this is what is going to surprise you, shock you at some point that what you think, oh, but I thought that was right like this and I should do that and whatever. And then you clean a little bit more and then you have time to, to start to see, to have clarity, discernment, things like that. And then you see that's like, oh, wow. Or you, you would think yourself that, oh, it's good that I didn't do that. And I took a break from it or I did the other thing um, because the solutions to certain problems will uh, will differ at uh, certain points in energy and uh, I mean if like I'm starting here and then I go 10 level higher then I would say the entire problem disappears completely because it's like there's no problem there is just an attitude and that has to be changed and that's it that's what you start you will start to realize and um, at this point how should I say I know I was also fascinated with conspiracy theories and all this stuff and although they're not really conspiracy theories but whatever you know what I mean this realm of like all these things that are weird and ugly in this reality and you can explore that but don't get lost in it that's you, you if you want to move out of this lower field expand your awareness expand your consciousness energy and things like that you cannot stay there you can exp you, it will just be like going round and round and like you will never find really a solution because you'll still you know there are still people that are trapped in a certain energetic uh, environment level and they will do that on a loop and then you will get e trapped in their loop and you will try to fix something that it's not fixable from that point of energy and the only way you can actually solve that is by you yourself taking responsibility for the environment that is inside yourself, for your thoughts, for your emotional, mental, physical, and other th areas in your life to clear all those things so you can have more clarity, have more discernment, and have a higher perspective. So whenever you, you feel like it's time to do something about something, uh, take a little bit of time to actually see how does that feel, I don't know. A week from now or if it's even more important I mean like something that involves longer things take a little more time to see how that feels when you clean yourself and I guarantee you'll have huge surprises nothing will look the same if you take your time and clean yourself and <laughs> you will you'll be very surprised so again as I said as I say always we come back to this thing where the most important thing is the work we do because that changes everything. Anyway, so now to the second uh, thing that I I want to address. Um, this is, sounds a little bit more darker, but it's not really dark. Um, there's been quite a few along, I mean, since I started doing these videos that have been telling me that you want to... Um, <laughs> Disappear. You do not want to exist anymore. You want to have to you know, be one with source, and that you do not want to manifest, how to speak, to take form uh, as a like a soul or whatever, and be part of a creation or whatever or experience, things like that. Usually, these these thoughts come from pain, from a lot of pain, because you've experienced a lot of disappointments, hurts, and things like that and you're done and you, you're just like I don't want this, this doesn't make any sense I don't want to experience another reality I don't want to whatever I'm done um, before I I will go into explain um, a little bit more about that what's the reason I mean how you should actually approach or understand the situation when I <laughs> when I didn't want to live anymore. It wasn't because I didn't want to exist in other places or whatever. It was just I'm done with this reality. But I never had this thing to uh, dissolve myself completely in the sense that I want to completely, yeah, dissolve my what I call soul, spirit, whatever this form that is experiencing this other forms. <laughs> 
So no, that uh, that was what I when I when I said that like I didn't want to live anymore. But there's some of you that, as I said, you tell me or you told me that want to completely disappear and it's like I'm done, whatever. And as I just said, usually this comes from pain. Some of you say that it's not just pain; it's something else and whatever. And then the other could be, if it is really that is the fact that source, because all of us, everything that you see here and in other places that you cannot see and understand are just thoughts of source. We're just thoughts of the same one thing. So when source decides like, okay, I do not want to have that thought anymore, that energy is being reintegrated or used for something else. So you will become part of something else. You become part of a different thought, mean another expression, take form, another being, or whatever. I don't know, whatever. So uh, you see. So even if you say, "I don't want to exist anymore," there is nothing else for source to do but thinking. I mean, having thoughts and things like that is like expressing those thoughts. Um, and then experience and experiencing them. <laughs> I know it's abstract. Experience reality through thoughts as beings, but they are actually thoughts. It's just weird, but that's what it is. So <laughs> even us here, whatever you see, these, these are just thoughts. And uh, that actually should bring you a little bit of peace of mind because, you know, energy cannot be destroyed, it's just transformed or used in different ways. So in the sense, no, there is no real death, so to speak. However, when that thought, well, which could be a being or whatever, decides that I feel like I fulfilled my purpose like this, in this format, in the whatever creation or a bigger thought is like another story, uh, then yes, you can be reabsorbed and then reintegrated was another expression was another thing so yeah there's nothing to be afraid and nothing to, to think like, like there's an end although as I said um, well as I when I experience oneness is very it feels alone uh, although as I said from this like where most people energetically are and are aware of this, like the, the one co concept or being one with source or with God or whatever, it, it's very romantic. When in reality, it's not really that. It's, it is what it is. And I do not stay there because I'm not, I cannot sustain that. But when I am, that's what I experience. And it's not fun, actually. It's just you feel <laughs> complete aloneness. It's just you. Everything is you. And that's it. Yeah, I hope that was interesting. See you next time. Ciao. From 2012 onward, um, if the, the energetic condition back then would have been much better, but they haven't because of all the things that went down.